But few hospitals see as much death and misery as Al Shifa. For Al Shifa has a different pulse. It's the heartbeat of Gaza, so frequently battered by Israel's bombs, which shatter lives and limbs. That was an Al Jazeera report taking a fairly one-sided look at the history of Al Shifa Hospital, the largest hospital in the Gaza Strip. It's been in the news because there's accusations of a siege. There is no electricity actually, there is no water, there is no food, so our team is exhausted. We can see actually the smoking, uh, the smoke around the hospital, they hit everything around the hospital and they hit the hospital many times. But that doesn't feel right because the Israeli military spokesperson said this. There is no siege, I repeat, there is no siege on the Shifa hospital. The east side of the hospital is open on El Wade Street for the safe pass of Gazans who wish to leave the hospital. We will help the babies in the pediatric department to get to a safer hospital. We will provide the assistance needed. And another spokesperson said this. I want to emphasize, we are, haven't struck the hospital. We have troops in the vicinity, but we have not been engaging with the hospital or any parts of it. But there is something going on at Al Shifa that the media aren't talking about. The IDF recently released evidence that Hamas has embedded its terror infrastructure within Al Shifa. But if you don't want to take the IDF's word for it, there is plenty more evidence. In fact, this is probably the Gaza Strip's biggest open secret. Hamas's military headquarters are in Al Shifa. Reporters have been meeting with Hamas at Al Shifa for years on the condition they don't reveal what's actually going on there. As early as 2006, PBS aired footage of Hamas terror roaming the halls of Al Shifa. And in 2014, Tablet Magazine wrote an entire expose on this grotesque violation of international law. The Washington Post is one of many media outlets that knows the truth about Al Shifa. And so do all of the international human rights organizations operating in the Strip, such as Amnesty International. But there's more to this. In the PBS documentary about Al Shifa, at one point a Hamas terrorist is seen threatening hospital staff. See, Hamas uses the threat of violence to control hospital staff. Bona fide medical professionals at Al Shifa are forced to be mouthpieces for Hamas. So, can we trust information that comes from the hospital? There is no electricity actually, there is no water, there is no food. Let's review. We know Hamas is based at the hospital. We also know Hamas has threatened hospital workers in the past. So, how can we trust anyone speaking on behalf of the hospital? What's happening at Al Shifa right now is simple. Hamas is trying to manufacture a humanitarian catastrophe that can be blamed on Israel. The real humanitarian catastrophe occurring at Al Shifa is Hamas basing their terror operations inside it.